This episode of the Yardcast was recorded at Taylor's Nursery in Raleigh, North Carolina. No matter what your landscape project calls for, Taylor's Nursery has the quality plant material and superior customer service you're looking for. Stop by their showroom on Newburn Avenue or visit them online at www.taylorsnursery.com. The plant we're going to talk about today is called the uh, redbud tree, the eastern redbud, Cersus canadensis. Uh, there's numerous varieties of this. This is a native tree. It's native to the eastern uh, uh, part of the United States. Uh, it's a small tree, grows uh, 15 to 20 foot, 15 to 25 foot tall and grows 15 to 20 foot wide. What's really distinctive about this is it has a heart-shaped leaf, a really interesting leaf. Uh, it's deciduous, loses its leaves in the winter time. The other interesting thing about it is in the uh, spring, early spring, a kind of pinkish uh, lavender kind of flower comes out right on the stems. And uh, most people notice that along the highways and wonder what tree it is. And it's a redbud tree. And as a result of that, where it grows along the highways, that's kind of the environment that it likes, where it gets half a day of sun and half a day of shade. It does great underneath a, a pine tree type shade where it's a filtered light. It, does, it will grow in full sun, but the hotter the sun and the more sun that it gets, it, it can tend to struggle a little bit. There are several varieties. This particular one is just the native regular redbud. There's also a variety called forest pansy that the leaves are kind of a purplish red. There's a weeping variety called travelers, another weeping variety called covey. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of options uh, to, to uh, how you use this plant. This particular plant is in a 20 gallon pot. You usually find it in containers at the nursery. Also some nurseries call, uh, carry them field grown, bald and burlap. So uh, you can buy different sizes and things like that. But it's ideal for uh, underneath pine trees in a natural area. Makes a great small tree in a, in, in a front or a backyard in a lawn area. You just need to make sure that you have enough room and the right exposure for it. The seed pod is also, it looks like a legume it has the seed pot is very interesting too um, it's just a really good tree uh, for the landscape there's not a lot of disease and pest problems um, and uh, just provides a lot of interest and uh, very cold hardy just uh, a, a really good tree for for use in, in, the, in the landscape